James R. Armstrong first came to Torrance in 1954 and married his wife, Ann Ardron, two years later. Both had jobs as teachers in the Torrance Unified School District, where Ann is still teaching at Arnold Elementary School. Armstrong first taught at Howard Wood Elementary School and then after four years became a history and government teacher at Torrance High School. He remained at Torrance High until his retirement in 1986. There is no argument that Jim Armstrong was one of the most popular teachers Torrance High has ever known. He brought an excitement and relevancy to the teaching of government by encouraging his students to meet the local candidates and then to choose one and become involved in their campaign. The students received extra credit for working on campaigns with the exception of one. When Jim decided to run for a seat on the Torrance City Council, his students were not given extra credit for campaigning for him. But even so, current and former students volunteered their time freely. Their numbers were so large they were referred to as Armstrong's Army. Jim's fascination with government began long before he decided to run for city council. He was a good friend and aide to the late U.S. Congressman Glenn M. Anderson and a field deputy for four years for the late U.S. Congressman Charles H. Wilson. In 1963, he moved into active participation in local government with an appointment to the Torrance Beautiful Commission. Shortly after that, he moved on to the Planning Commission. In 1972, after six years on the Planning Commission, he ran successfully for a seat on the City Council. He was re-elected in 1976. Two years later, Armstrong was elected mayor and won re-election in 1982. The Armstrong years were ones of bold steps forward and charismatic leadership. Quality development was encouraged and lines were drawn on overdevelopment. Decisions were made to proceed with several new projects, including the police facility, Fire Station 6, the Albert Eisen Transit Facility, the Ben Haggett Reservoir, and the Stanley E. Remmelmeyer Telecommunications Center. Charles Wilson and Columbia Parks were established, and the green light was given for the development of the Cultural Arts Center and the theater that bears his name. After his term of office ended in 1986, Jim's involvement in community affairs escalated. He has participated in activities for the Red Cross, the American Heart Association, the YWCA, the Torrance Education Foundation, the Torrance Area Chamber of Commerce, and as chair of the foundation at Cal State University at Dominguez Hills, to name a few. Jim Armstrong has lent his extraordinary talents and energy to the betterment of the city of Torrance for many years. For his lifetime commitment, he is being honored with the Jared Sidney Torrance Award.